Hi, it's me, it's Monica, and today I'm making an outfit video for a little outfit that I like to call Hello Kitty. It's going to be a bit of a longer video because there's a lot to talk about with this outfit. Um, I pieced it together over the years, um, and I'll kind of explain each piece to you because each one kind of has a little bit of significance. Uh, not every outfit goes this deep in terms of, uh, you know, the significance of the pieces and the kind of the story behind them. Um, but this particular one, there's a lot of stuff that, uh, you know, has a bit of a story to it. And so it's going to be a little bit of a longer video because I did want to take the time to, you know, explain it all to you. So basically, um, there was a girl that I worked with at this company and a younger girl, early 20s, just a beautiful, just gorgeous girl. Um, she dressed really, really cute. Um, she dressed how Monica would dress to the office. Uh, you know, very bubbly, very cute. Uh, very pretty, lots of accessories. You know, her makeup was always just gorgeous. And, uh, you know, I just, I so just loved this girl. She was just so sweet and such a kind person, yet she was just so cute and in her accessories and her outfits and everything. She was just, you know, just the perfect dresser. And so my very first day that I met her, she was wearing a skirt like this. This is from Express and it's one of those you know, elastic band skirts that's really thick and really heavy, you know, that poofs out. And she had on a black and white one. It was a really cute, you know, black, white, black, white, black, white. It had these stripes. And I saw that skirt on her and I thought, you know what, that skirt is just so cute. I need to get me a skirt like that. Well, I went out looking and I actually found them at Express. And I don't know if that's where she got them because, you know, at the time you could get these skirts a lot of different places. Uh, but I went into Express, saw the skirt that she was wearing, and I went ahead and bought it. They also had one that was all black, they had one that was all blue, and they had this one that was all pink. Uh, they also had one that was all red. Um, I bought all of them except for the red one. Um, they didn't have it in my size and then I never went back and got it. Uh, but I did end up with four of these skirts and you know this one is kind of the bright pink one. And so when I went to go look for some accessories to kind of pair with this uh, skirt, I thought about this sweater. Now, the sweater is very significant to me. This sweater is actually very, very, very old. Um, I know it's a cute like little crop top kind of sweater and it's something that you would find in just about any store today, but this sweater actually belonged to my mom. Um, growing up, whenever my mom set aside clothes, um, you know, things that she didn't want anymore, um, she'd put them out to, you know, go out with the trash or she'd want to get them donated somewhere. And little me, I would somehow, when she wasn't looking or she wasn't paying attention or, you know, something else was going on, some kind of distraction, I would go in there and I would sneak out whatever it was that she was giving away that I liked, that I wanted. And one of the things that I kept, and I mean, we're talking, this is when I was elementary school, was this sweater. And I'm sure when I first wore it, I was swimming in it. Uh, but, you know, now um, when I went to see what do I want to wear with this really cute pink skirt, uh, you know, that reminded me of this really cute girl from, from work and, and her accessorizing and just how lovely she was. I said, you know what, this little white kind of sheer sweater that was mom's, it just is so perfect. And I mean, you guys can see in the outfit, it's just really cute together. Almost looks like it was made for each other. So underneath you can see it's, it's really sheer. Um, so I have this bra. It's pink and it has hearts on it. And you'll see it's got, you know, these different colors. There's black, there's purple, there's a red. Um, and I just thought, you know, the pink really matched the skirt. Um, you can see it so well through the sheer top. Um, it's kind of one of those things where, you know, you have to wear a bra with a, sh with a sweater really, or some kind of top underneath it. And um, I got this as a set. My wife actually bought it for me, um, you know, years and years ago, the, the, the bra. And it actually has, a boy short. It's a full boy short, you know, kind of panty. They actually fit me a little big right now. Uh, they fit me much more snug <laughs> at the time when she bought them for me. Um, but I just thought, you know, with the sweater and the skirt pairing the bra and boy short, the, the pink cotton and the colorful hearts, I just thought, you know what, that would be perfect. And so I kind of had that outfit in mind. And at that point I needed to, you know, go out and accessorize it. And so the very next thing that I found were these bows. I'm going to zoom in a little closer so you can see them a little better, hopefully. They are big pink, just this really cute material. It's got Hello Kitty all over it. And then it's got the two 
little Hello Kitty figurines there. And I got those of all places at Hobby Lobby. And it was the funniest thing. Uh, it was kind of post Valentine's Day. Um, you know, day after Valentine's Day, day after 4th of July. Believe me, I am out there looking for the, you know, clearance racks, the things that have been reduced and marked down so that I can get them really cheaply. So I go to Hobby Lobby post Valentine's Day to see what I can find. And they have these Hello Kitty bows. And I thought, you know what, they're just so cute, I'm going to get them. So I go up to the cash register, I'm in total boy mode, you know, it was after work and, you know, I'm in slacks and a polo shirt and, you know, all boyed out. And I go up to the cash register with these pink little bows. And the lady who works there, she goes, oh my God, these bows are so cute. Your little girl is going to love them. And I just kind of smiled at her and I chuckled a little bit. And I said, you know what, I think she really is. They're just so cute. And she goes, yeah, they're so cute. Any little girl would just absolutely love to have these big Hello Kitty bows. And so, I don't know, it's just one of those things that happens where it's just kind of funny because it's like, do you have any idea that I'm going to go home and put these on? Or, <laughs> like, are you really, like, thinking, like, oh, he's just got a little daughter and he's just going to buy them for her. So, I don't know, I just thought that that was funny. Um, but, so, once I got these bows home, um, I thought, you know what, the pink skirt, the white sweater, the pink bra, you know, the pink uh, boy short panties, this is really cute. Let me put those bows with that outfit. And so basically at that point I decided, you know what, I'm going to turn it into like a little cute Hello Kitty outfit. Um, you know, Hello Kitty's Hello Kitty. Everybody knows Hello Kitty. Um, she's just cute, like cute little girls, uh, you know, Japanese girls. Everybody loves like Hello Kitty because she's just like such a cute little thing. And I said, well, let me put together, you know, this really cute Hello Kitty themed outfit around, you know, my skirt, my top. So the very next thing I got, I went online and I found these really cute Hello Kitty earrings. You know, they're in a hoop, which is just absolutely what I love those big hoop earrings. And, uh, you know, they're just cute and they have a little metal Hello Kitty figurine in there. And then the next thing I found was this big old, you know, Ryan Stoney Hello Kitty, like gangster lucky necklace. And I just thought, you know what, that is gonna contrast the cuteness of the outfit so well. Um, it's rhinestones, you know, I love my rhinestones and it's got a black bow. And so I just thought, you know, it would just accent everything, you know, with my hair and kind of all the colors, the little rhinestone and the black bow would just be perfect. So I actually got both of those items on eBay when I went looking for Hello Kitty stuff. And so it just arrived and was just perfect. Uh, you know, it's exactly what I was hoping it would look like when I put the outfit together. So um, I have this little pink bow. Uh, when my wife and I were in Hawaii the last time, uh, we went to the Aloha Market. Um, it's a swap meet that's at the Aloha Stadium. It's, it's twice a week and they have great finds, great buys there. And we bought a bunch of hair accessories there, uh, both for her and for me, uh, which hey, that's a lot of fun, right? Um, but anyways, um, I got these big packs of bows that were only a couple dollars. And I've been basically putting, you know, one little cute matching bow with just about every outfit I've been wearing lately. Um, so I thought, you know, I got the two big bows, you know, you can never have too many bows, right? So I put this, you know, little cute little pink bow with it. And I uh, figured, you know, just kind of rounds it out. Um, it also kind of plays nicely off the glasses. Uh, these pink plastic sunglasses, heart-shaped, of course. Uh, I actually got these at Daiso. Um, Daiso's great for cheap sunglasses. Um, you know, they're $1.50, sometimes a little bit more. Uh, you're never going to pay more than like three bucks for, you know, really cute pair of sunglasses. So again, heart-shaped, pink, totally matched the outfit and just thought it all came together. And so one final thing, you know, again, of course, I have my um, heart-shaped rhinestone Fredericks of Hollywood garter that I wear all the time when I don't have another garter to wear. Uh, I've got my rings, I've got my watch, and I've got my bracelet that I've explained to you guys in other videos. And then the last thing uh, to talk about in the outfit is these shoes. So these are nude, blush, tan, whatever you want to call them, patent leather pumps. And I just love these shoes. They go with just about anything. Um, you can really just kind of pair them with just about any color pretty much. Um, but so kind of the reason why I'm wearing these particular heels goes back to the girl that inspired me about the skirt. And so it was kind of when you started, just first started to see kind of those nude patent leather pumps, the girls were kind of starting to wear them. And of course she shows up at work one day with, you know, big old, huge, gorgeous, you know, blush patent leather pumps um, with a cute little dress. And, you know, she's just walking around the office being her. And, you know, I just, I'm envious of her because she gets to walk around the office in her cute little outfits and I don't get to. And she was just, like I said, she was just such a sweetheart. And there's so much of my style 
in the last couple of years that just really came from her. And so I like to pay tribute to her. Um, we still chat. We don't work the same place anymore. We kind of talk every once in a while, not really much, you know, that much anymore. You know, you just drift apart from people when you stop working together. And, it, you know, it pains me at times that I cannot reach out to her and say, you know what? You were such an inspiration to me and my style and, you know, the, the, the outfits that I put together because she's one of those people that I never actually told, you know, about Monica and about, you know, the videos and the fashion and all that other stuff. I talked to her about clothes. Um, there's a 4th of July dress that I have. Um, you'll see it on my, on my YouTube and on my other things. It's, you know, 4th of July party dress. And uh, that actually was a dress that she wore to work one day. And I, you know, basically lied to her and told her I wanted to get that dress for my wife. Where did you get it? <laughs> and she told me and I went and I bought it. And, you know, to this day, I honestly, as far as I know, she still believes that, you know, I, I asked her that because I went to buy the dress for my wife instead of actually, you know, for me, for Monica. So anyways, um, like I said, it was going to be a long uh, outfit video because uh, there was just a lot to talk about with this outfit. Um, you know, I'm very sentimental. Things mean a lot to me. Um, my outfits mean a lot to me. The stories behind them mean a lot to me. And that's, I think, why I like sharing them so much with you guys. Um, you know, I, it's not so much like, hey, look at me. Hey, look at, you know, my fashion. Um, it's more like I hope that I give you guys ideas and inspiration and thoughts, you know, kind of like the girl that I worked with did, you know, right? I would see her and I would think, oh, you know, she's so cute. She's so bubbly. Um, you know, I kind of, it, it motivated me to lose weight a little bit more. It motivated me to, you know, put together these cuter outfits. Just, you know, she was kind of an inspiration to me. And if I can do anything to pay her and the other women in my life, the other, you know, girls that I've been friends with over the years, just all of you wonderful girls out there, if I can do anything to pay tribute to you, it hopefully is me inspiring the next girl. Um, you know, the next G girl, the next T girl, the next trans girl, you know, whoever you are, whatever girl you are, any girl, we're all girls. You know, whatever girl you are, I just hope that, you know, my outfits are inspiring in the same way that, that these wonderful girls inspired me. So, anyways, hope you like the outfit. I hope you like the story behind it. I hope you recognize kind of the significance of it and, you know, why I've taken the time to make this, you know, really long outfit video.